The perineal nerve stimulator. This is the newest kid on the block when it comes to treatment of restless leg syndrome. So just how does this work? I'm Dr. Andy Burkowski of Relax Health, and this week's topic is on a new device to treat restless leg syndrome that could be coming out later in 2023. Noctrix Health is a company that has come out with a essentially a stimulator cuff that goes below both knees and provides electrical stimulation to a nerve called the perineal nerve, also called the common fibular nerve. And the idea is that by stimulating the nerve and then also the muscles around the nerve that it supplies, that it provides feedback going back up to the brain that's similar to how walking or moving the legs relieves restless leg syndrome. The symptoms are coming from the brain, but the movement and the activation of the nerves in the legs help to shut off that signal. Now, Noctrix Health has had their device receive FDA breakthrough approval uh, as a device, and, and this could be available for limited release later in 2023. So just how does it work? So I have uh, Kira here. She's been kind enough to uh, volunteer uh, for me to demonstrate this. Now, the perineal nerve or the common fibular nerve comes from the sciatic nerve, and it runs uh, kind of uh, along the side of the knee and goes around the fibular head, as it's called, which is that bone on the outside of the leg. So these devices uh, will go just below the knee, as you can see here, and it would provide electrical stimulation to that nerve. The nerve has a lot of different functions. It provides uh, some of the sensation uh, to the foot and the front and then the side of the leg that goes back up to the brain. So if you were to touch your leg there, it uses the perineal nerve, but also it, it supplies electrical activity to the muscle. So when you want to move your leg, so you want to move your foot out, it will provide uh, the uh, electrical support to that. So. This company has recently done a couple of clinical trials. Uh, one recently was accepted for publication in the Journal of Clinical Sleep Medicine. And in this one, they compared their device to a sham device where it just provided a second of stimulation instead of the usual 30 minutes of stimulation. And the restless leg severity scale on average in 12 patients improved by more than five points compared to the sham device. They've also done some longer term studies, not compared to sham, but over the course of 32 weeks, the restless legs uh, scale improved by 12 points. So that could take somebody from a severe level of restless legs down to a, a mild to moderate level of restless legs. In this 32 week trial that was recently published at the sleep conference as an abstract, there was a 77% responder rate. So people were either much improved or very much improved 77% of the time over up to a 32 week period. There was also improvement to sleep quality and they did some fancy math and there would have been a significant reduction in healthcare costs attributable to the improvement of restless legs syndrome. So as I mentioned, we are optimistic as physicians that this device may be coming out to some people as early as this year in 2023 and devices are sort of a holy grail when it comes to treatment because all of the restless legs treatments seem to have a lot of side effects and potential risks. So a device that is not a medication is, is highly sought after. So wearing this around the knee or just below the knee every night and using stimulation for about 30 minutes may be a great alternative to some of these medications that can produce side effects. But I'll be sure to keep you updated as we learn more about when this device becomes available. As always, this video is for general informational purposes only. It does not constitute the practice of medicine. All medical decisions should be made with the guidance of a licensed medical professional. And as always, one of the keys to sleeping well is to relax.